Hello and welcome to the Superscript New Comic Minute for the week of November 2nd. It's a big week for books, so we're going to get into the books I'm looking forward to this week and that you may be looking forward to as well. So, we've got a lot. So, here we go. We've got a Guardians of the Galaxy... Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy one-shot from Marvel Cosmic Rewind. So, if you're looking forward to the new... Guardians uh, TV thing, or if you're not, or if you're just looking to more Guardians comics, then this is a one-shot for you. Check that one out. Then, this one I'm looking forward to a lot, uh, Tiger Division, number one. This is a new one by Emily Kim, who did Silk, which I really like. Um, so this, these are uh, South Korea's protectors. Uh, first time um, they've got a, a story of their own, a book of their own. So Tiger Division, looking forward to that one. Uh, then we have a new Deadpool, a new Deadpool uh, by, um, oh wait, this is Emily Wong, is that the first name? Uh, no, Alyssa Wong, uh, it was Emily Kim on this, Alyssa Wong, uh, who did, uh, has been doing Dr. Afra, it's been, which has been really great, so we got a new, a new Deadpool book there, that's gonna be excellent, then we got Secret Invasion, Scroll Invasion once again, we got Iron Man there. We got other people. We got the scrolls, so that'll be good. I believe this is going to be a five-parter, so looking forward to that. Um, then, Cross Gen Tales. So this is uh, stories and well, characters uh, from uh, Cross Gen, the uh, imprint that is no more, but that is now, I guess, part of part of Marvel. Um, so if you like some late '90s, early 2000s weird kind of fantasy or sci-fi or Sherlock Holmes looking characters like Ruse and Mystic and Sigil, then Cross Gen Tales may be for you. I believe there's going to be four of these, but they're all kind of separate oversized uh, anthology issues. Uh, then turning to DC, there's a lot of DC too. We got uh, Gotham City Year One Number Two. Just wanted to point this one out again because it's just on number two. Uh, we still got number one on the shelf. This is by Tom King, and this is about uh, basically. So we've got we've had many books and such movies, TV shows about the origin of Batman or the origin of the Joker and what have you. And this is the origin of Gotham City itself and how it came to be kind of a uh, the dark violent city that it is before before the Dark Knight uh, was around. So that's very cool. Tom King, check that out. Then we've got The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing. This is by Matt Rosenberg, big fan of his work. Uh, and this kind of follows off of The Joker, uh, James Tynan's The Joker. And this is The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing. Then more Joker, Batman and The Joker, The Deadly Duo. Uh, so this is written and illustrated by Mark Silvestri. Um, in this, the Batman and the Joker have to uh, team up or form an, uh, uh, you know, shaky alliance um, to overcome greater foes. Will it last? Will they fall in love? Probably not. But there's always someone's fan fiction out there for you. But that is not this. This is Mark Silvestri's fan fiction, I guess. Um, I think you could still call it fan fiction, even if he's legitimately writing it for DC. He is a fan, presumably, and this is his fiction. Batman and the Joker, the deadly duo. More Batman. Uh, so Batman 129 is out this week. Just want to point this out because uh, Chip Zdarsky's Batman has been great. And also, this week, we've got this really, one of these cool shiny variant covers, like embossed, like very 90s style. So that's fun. Just wanted to point that out. Then, small press stuff, there's a lot. We've got Behold the Behemoth, uh, number one by Boom. Um, this is a guy uh, is kind of losing grip on reality. He's going through some tough times, having these terrible nightmares and visions of this big, uh, horrible, monstrous creature. And then uh, the, the, the lines between nightmare, dream, and reality start to, to blur, and this um, big creature perhaps 
starts to reveal itself in the real world and uh, potentially threaten the the safety of the entire world. So that old tale. So behold, Behemoth, this looks really cool. I'm looking forward to it. I like a big kind of horror monster thing. And the art in it's really beautiful. Lovely colors. Very autumnal. Then we've got The Ones by Brian Michael Bendis. It's put out by Dark Horse. Um, Dark Horse. This is a group of, you know, the stories of The One, like uh, Neo from The Matrix or Harry Potter or such. So this is like a group of all those uh, individuals who are destined to be the one, but of course there's more than one of them. So now they're all together. And how that works out and and if they get along or not, I mean, I bet they've got egos. So we'll see, but this is really cool. I think Brian Michael Mendes shines with uh, like team stuff. So this is a team book of strong individual, I don't know. The Ones. So it's a cool idea. I like this. So I'll check this out. That looks fun. Uh, then we've got Hell to Pay, a new one by Image. Charles Soule on this. Um, this is a... Oh, wait. Am I remembering this correctly? We have, like, a couple horror books. I think this is the one... Wait. I mean, that was The Ones. But this is, if I'm remembering correctly, it is a college... Am I remembering this correctly? It is a college... Yeah, yeah. It is a college... <laughs> Sorry, something about the title. I was like, wait, is this the... There is a college that can teach you magic, dark magics, but you then have to, like, sell your soul to the devil or something like that. Hence, hell to pay. If student loans weren't bad enough, what if... There was the devil. It seems cool. Charles Soule always has a good, I think, like, good, uh, I feel like a dark humor type thing will be a good fit. Looking forward to that. Anyway, hell the thing. Uh, then we've got Quick Stops. This is a little anthology of little short stories with Kevin Smith. And uh, I, I believe just, like, various characters from Kevin Smith's movies and so on. So that's cool. Kevin Smith's been back doing a lot of comic stuff, so that's that's exciting. Uh, then Nature's Labyrinth. Really looking forward to this one. This is by Zach Thompson, who I really like uh, from Lonely Receiver and some other weird stuff. I Breathe the Body, I think. Um, this is a, an island uh, with a maze. Oh, the phone's ringing. I'm going to ignore it. Well, I'm going to get the phone. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Nature's Labyrinth is where we left off. I think I got interrupted during that. So Zach Thompson uh, is the writer. Um, the story is there's an island and this, uh, I believe, eccentric billionaire type figure has set up a maze and some sort of terrible game that uh, this cast of characters will have to presumably navigate and try to survive on. So, uh, perhaps sort of like a battle royale or uh, squid games type of thing, I suppose, um, on an island. So that looks cool. I like Zach Thompson a lot, so looking forward to that. Uh, then we've got by Dynamite, Vampirella versus Red Sonia. I wonder who's writing Vampirella versus Red Sonia? Oh, it's Dan Abnett of author of the Horus Heresy books and other comics and novels. Writing the Vampirella versus the Red Sonia. So maybe check this out. Maybe if Vampirella and Red Sonia aren't on your radar, maybe it should be. Because I hear those Horus Heresy books are pretty good. So there's that. Then we've got Monsters of Metal. I don't know anything about this book other than it. its retail price is $6.66. And we have many different covers that feature monsters playing 
rock and roll instruments. This one is like a guy with a pumpkin head playing the guitar. So that seems cool. And it's perfect time. Well, it's a little late actually, but it's still Halloween time. It's still Halloween time. Oh, there's like a Medusa. I wonder, I, they must be a band, a, a monster band. Someone plays a guitar. Nice. So there's that, Monsters of Metal. Then a couple trades real quick. We got the next trade, what is this, Volume 2? Yeah, Volume 2 of Righteous Thirst for Vengeance by Rick Remender. This one's been awesome. Uh, if you like uh, lots of visual storytelling, uh, not much dialogue in this, um, and yeah, uh, like a very dark um, crime drama, then Righteous Thirst for Vengeance is for you. And then lastly, Matt Fraction's Adventure Man Volume 2 now collected in this nice big big hardcover this series is great i actually didn't get to read this story arc in issues so i'm gonna have to pick this up myself and check it out but i really liked the first one so looking forward to checking this out so those are the books this week uh stop in and check out what's on the new comic table and let us know in the comments what books you're looking forward to this re week and uh, let me know uh, which, uh, which Horace Heresy book is your favorite. I'll see you later.